Hello Aquarius and welcome to remote learning day number four. We are going to follow the same format as yesterday just without an assembly so there are four different Microsoft Teams links set up at 9, 11.40, 1 and 2.40. After we have checked in with one another at 9 o'clock we will complete the English and Maths work which are both explained on this PowerPoint. This morning for English you will need the persuasive speech strip of paper to work from and in maths you will need the reasoning worksheets about adding whole numbers. I have made these and they are not the white rose worksheet so please don't get confused and then you will need access to the white rose video online as usual. There is an extension maths question on the PowerPoint. We will group back together at 11.40 and mark our maths daily practice, our maths reasoning worksheet and go through the English work together. After lunch, we will read the class story together and then afterwards you will complete your guided reading session. It's based on poetry this week and then de design a clay pot in art and listen to some songs in music. We will then group back together at the end of the day at 2.40 to mark our guided reading work, find out what unique designs you have made for your art clay pot and see what you notice when listening to all three songs in music. In English, this would have been our independent write week in school, where I'm able to assess your writing so far this term and then work with you to see how we can improve it mo moving forward into the rest of the year. Therefore, you do need to take this lesson seriously and please don't rush it. We have two days to draft our speech, today and tomorrow, Thursday to edit our speech and then Friday to publish our speech. Your task is to draft your own persuasive speech as the colour that you created on Friday with the aim to hopefully win your crayon colour a place in the crayon box. You will then need to use your persuasive techniques in your writing like the ones we learnt about yesterday. Look at the example of the caramel colour that I wrote as a model to help you. Which persuasive techniques have I used? I have used repetition of I am your choice and choose luxury, choose natural. I have also used rhetorical questions such as have you got a have you a rich colour yourself ever looked at the perfect companion? I have used emotive language, asking the reader to put themselves in my shoes by saying, "Have you?" Da -da 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 -da. I have also used modal verbs and adverbs of possibility, such as, "You definitely should choose me." I've used "should" in there. Now there are lots that I haven't used, but I have just done a quick example for you, showing a couple of techniques that you will need to use. Now I have put the book link video on here if you need a refresher of how the other crayons wrote their letters in the book, this might help you out. Now you should have a strip that looks like the one on this slide, however yours will be in a long strip instead of screenshotted into two for this slide. Um, the structure of the letter is pretty simple if you do follow this strip. I have helped you on this slide by breaking it down step by step. Once you think you have completed a box, when drafting out your letter, you can tick it off so then you know which boxes you have and which boxes you still need to do. Now, the purple writing on the slide, I have put some examples next to each box. So hopefully this should help you when drafting your um, persuasive speech about your colour crayon that you created on Friday to then hopefully win a place in Duncan's crayon box. Here is a list of all the grammar and punctuation you should be using and thinking about using in your letter. Please do refer to this when you are writing it and tick things off once you have checked it through after you have finished your whole draft or as you go along. When writing your draft speech, please make sure to write on every other line. So you write on a line, you leave a line, you write on a line so that then we come, when we come to editing, you have room to add in sentences, take away sentences, add in words, take away words. It will just make it easier for you and everything won't be crunched up together. If you are struggling on how to start your persuasive speech, please start thinking about these questions on this slide as they should help give you a little bit of inspiration on where to start and what you should be thinking about. Our brain break activity for today is our observation quiz. So you will need to watch the link on this slide. Um, it is about a minute long. And then there are a couple of questions that you need to answer. And then in our morning feedback session, we are going to see who got the right answer and how many points we scored. 
Like yesterday, please complete your maths daily practice on a scrap piece of paper and we will then mark these during our morning feedback session. There are four questions this morning to complete. In maths today, we are using our reasoning skills when adding whole numbers together. You should be able to add them together as this is what we did yesterday in our fluency maths session. However, if you do need a recap, please watch the white rose link attached to this slide, which takes you through a step by step tutorial video. The link at the top of this is what you will need to click on. You will need to select one of the worksheets on the PowerPoint to complete. Again, like yesterday, they vary ever so slightly, so please choose the challenge most suited to you. If you do finish your worksheet, there is an extension on this slide for you to complete. And then once finished, please take a photograph of your work as usual and send it to me via Microsoft Teams or in an email. In guided reading today, we are all doing the same text this week. So all the way from bright stars to shooting stars, we're all doing the same poem. It's by Alan Alberg. Now, Alan Alberg is best known for his school poems. This poem is taken from the book Heard It in the Playground. Another popular book of his poems is called Please, Mrs. Butler. He captures the noisy playground moments as well as the quiet ones, the thinking in the corner moments. He notices the small, absurd things that go on every day, all the time in every school. You will need to read the poem on the following slide and then answer the questions on your worksheet. Your worksheet should look like the image displayed on this slide with the following questions on. Be aware, though, that you will not be able to answer the last two questions because you do not have the book at home with you to explore the other poems. We will do these questions when we get back to school after half term. So our poem is from the book Heard It in the Playground and it is called Parents' Evening. We're waiting in the corridor, my dad, my mum and me. They're sitting there and talking. I'm nervous as can be. I wonder what she'll tell them. I'll say I've got a pain. I wish I'd got my spellings right. I wish I had a brain. We're waiting in the corridor, my husband's son and me. My son just stands there smiling. I'm smiling nervously. I wonder what she'll tell us. I hope it's not all bad. He's such a good boy, really, but dozy like his dad. We're waiting in the corridor, my wife, my boy and me. My wife's as cool as cucumber. I'm nervous as can be. I hate these parents' evenings. I feel just like a kid again who's going to get the stick. I'm waiting in the classroom. It's nearly time to start. I wish there was a way to stop the pounding in my heart. The parents in the corridor are chatting cheerfully and now I've got to face them. I'm nervous as can be. There are some extension questions if you would like to challenge yourself to really understand the poem in more depth and work on your Vipers guiding reading skills. We are completing our Pixel reading tests, our assessments when we get back to school. So this is a great way to help you prepare. Now I'm going to give 10 house points to anybody who chooses to do this. It is typical that we had saved the last week of term to have our art week and we cannot be in school to complete our art. Therefore, we are going to do a session this afternoon by planning what art design we are going to make when we get back to school and then we will make it after half term. Our art topic for this term is sculpture. On this slide, there is a picture of the Angel of the North by Anthony Gormley. There is a link to Wikipedia if you wish to find out more information about him and I do challenge you to do this so that you fully understand what our work this term is all about. I would like you to think about what he is representing in his sculpture and what message he is trying to get across. Please note that sculptures can vary in size. Some can be huge like his work and then he does actually produce tiny sculptures too. So our learning objective is to develop an imaginative extend ideas for clay work and our success criteria are to explore some of Anthony Gormley's artwork design a clay pot, pot clay pot it is clay but it's called a coil pot that represents you and include tactile and visual elements therefore the main focus of today's art is all around clay skills here is another piece of Anthony's artwork called the field Please follow the link provided to find out what it represents and we will discuss this together in our afternoon feedback session. We are going to link our clay artwork to our jigsaw theme for this term, being me. You are going to design a trinket box with or without a lid to represent you. 
So things you like, colours you like, designs you like. You have a sheet that looks like the one displayed at the top right of this slide. And then once we get back to school, we will make them out of clay and then evaluate them afterwards. So you will need to fill in the sheet, put your fancy, unique design that represents you and then fill in the bottom of the sheet and then please take a photograph and send it back to me via Microsoft Teams or email. In music this term we have been focusing on rock music, seen as we can't be in class to use our interactive music portal Charanga together. We cannot complete the activity that we were going to do as a whole class. Therefore, please listen to the following three songs and find the pulse. So this is what we've been doing in class, it's the beat of the music. And then note how all three songs are different or similar. We will discuss our findings together in our afternoon feedback session. Today's work that needs to be handed in is your maths worksheet, your guided reading poetry worksheet, and then your art worksheet. Please hand it in to me via Microsoft Teams or email as usual.